Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to Video Entertainment Studios for this episode of Video Extras. I'm the Nerd Lust Daddy, and today on this episode of Video Extras, we're going to tackle putting together the Arcade 1UP Legacy Edition, the Capcom 12-in-1 Legacy Edition. Now keep in mind this is a first time build for me in regards to putting together Arcade 1UP cabinets. I did read though that it's about a... Uh, two hours on average, a bit, of a bit of a time frame to put these together, and all I should need is just a simple Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, I'm excited to get this thing together. I think it's going to look real good right up under the Daddy Pride flag as soon as we got this thing together. So uh, time's going to start as soon as I begin opening the box. So uh, let's jump into it. Let's go. time all right well that's it it's all together let's see if the sucker powers on oh. well that's adorable yeah these are uh, pretty short without the riser though huh I'm definitely gonna have to get me a riser but hey success uh, let's see thoughts about assembly there is some pain in the ass shit with this. <laughs> I'm not sure how long it took me. Uh, time should be up there. But uh, there's definitely some pain in the ass shit. You're gonna, at some points, have to retighten sections that you originally did just to make sure everything's like pulling itself together. Um, it's kind of a bitch getting some of the like, uh, like smaller plywood that has to go into slots, like fitting and popping just correctly when you're trying to get everything together. You probably noticed me struggling there. Uh, 
on some of those sections. Uh, what else is a pain in the ass? Uh, I mean, I lost a screw for a second, but I found it. Uh, yeah, back here on the back, that I'm putting on the very last back panel. Those holes that you end up screwing into through the panel's holes are like super small and kind of off center. I think I probably technically ended up drilling <laughs> with the screw more than actually screwing into the uh, intended hole because uh, it's so small. Um, otherwise, not uh, not too complicated. Definitely gonna need to get a riser. there. Um, but yeah, um, it's pretty uh, pretty cute, adorable little thing. If you've always wanted some arcade nostalgia, you know, I recommend getting one. You know, 200, 250-ish is probably a decent deal for one of these as long as it's got like plenty of games in it. And also it might just be um, What's it worth to you, game-wise, that's on it? This is pretty nostalgic for me. I remember growing up with all the Street Fighters. I was way into those. That shit blew my mind. Uh, anyways, gonna go ahead and get this sucker in there. Um, interested in how fast you've been able to build a similar one. If you, like, compare to, to my time, wherever I've got it at the moment. Probably over here. <laughs> um, but, yeah. In the meantime, I want to thank you all for tuning in to Video Entertainment Studios for this episode of Video Extras. As always, I'm the Nerd Lust Daddy, reminding you all to not be chip fuckers to each other. Body autonomy for all, reproductive rights for women, and peace, love, and happiness to all. Later on, everybody.